us out of Beckenham and I've got my best Czech shirt on because tonight is the world premiere of the movie Between Two Worlds, which is written by Stephen Morris, who is the cousin of executive producer Scott Dan. Scott, this is a bit weird talking to you not about football, but we'll get through it. Um, have you been to many film premieres before? Um, no, this is this is probably the this is the first one for me, and um, no, I'm looking forward to. It. Obviously, delighted for him. And, um, it's nice, to, it's nice to come along and, and support him. And he um, he wrote it a while ago now, so it's 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 took a while for him to to really really get it going and and, and, and put it together. But it's it's worked it's worked out well for him, and I'm looking forward to seeing it. It's been like six seven years, so it's been like a journey and a half. And it's crazy when like you sit down with your laptop. Printed off a few 96 pages, and then it's like this. So it's it, it's a, it is an amazing journey. Um, I've been I've been keen to get involved in films for years now. Uh, I'm a massive film buff, massive film fan. But this was the first script where I thought, you know, what, I can actually do this character justice. From the glass towers of high finance, the party never stops when John Moriarty's on the scene. Uh, for the book, I'll call him the Money Man. Find the red carpet, and you'll find Connor Matthews unleashing that killer smile. He has to be the movie star. We may have started out from nowhere, but now we're claiming this town as our own. London town, the world's town, your town. It's kind of a coming of age story for early, early 20s, and I think a lot of people who've lived in London or live in London will know exactly the journey that Ryan's going on. It's out on Friday, it'll be out in cinemas and it'll be available for download so if people want to go to iTunes uh, they'll see it there, download it, if they want to go to the cinema they can and we just want as many people to see it as possible and kind of support a small British film that we hope is punching well above its weight, much like Crystal Palace. <laughs> so I've got a lot of mates who are Palace fans so to be honest I love it when a team like Palace beats one of the you know the big top top big five, big six, I don't really know, Liverpool in anymore? We've got to be careful about saying that, shouldn't we? <laughs> Especially the amount of scouts that's involved in this movie. Now, the main character wears an Everton shirt in the film. Are you red or blue? Crystal Palace. Oh, red, red and blue. blue. <laughs> yeah. Now, um, obviously, I grew up a Liverpool fan, season ticket holder and stuff, but as soon as Scott moves to Crystal Palace, that's the first result I look for. So, I'm an honorary eagle. Right, now, I'm a little bit special, so I'm going to go and watch the film now, but you guys will have to wait till October the 23rd.